What's going on guys and welcome back to another Satisfactory video. Today I'm going to be explaining to you what a sushi belt is and how it can be very, very beneficial inside your factory. Let's talk about it. Just remember, if you do like this video, please remember to like and subscribe to see more. So what is a sushi belt, you may ask? A sushi belt is one belt that transports multiple items from A to B, preferably one of your fastest belts. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to have multiple belts of different varieties of items that you require going down that one sushi belt merged together to go from A to B. Once that belt then reaches its destination, it's then being split by a smart splitter. And what a smart splitter's function is, is very much like how a, a junction works. You know, items can turn off here, turn off there. And inside your splitter, just allow what item you want to turn in what direction. So we want aluminum casing to go left into this manufacturer. But then we've also get this to be overflow. So if aluminum casing or aluminum casing um, is full on the belt on the left hand side, it will go straight on. And it's the same with every single item. And also, you can merge items onto that line in the future. As you can see, I have a supercomputer coming down here because that's what this manufacturer is making. So I have a sushi belt coming down here and then it's being split into this machine and then the output comes out and merges back up with the sushi line. And then going further down the line, we can see we have a bunch of other smart splitters which are designed to turn off said items into their own storage containers. And to make sure nothing backs up, and because all the uh, splitters are set to overflow, once any of their lanes are full, they will come all the way down here and get sunk. Also, you want to consider what is being sent onto your sushi line. So as you can see here, I have a Mark 1 which is sending 60 mortars per minute down the left-hand side line. On the middle line, we have concrete being sent at 480 per minute on a Mark 4 line. And then on the right-hand side, you can see computers being sent at 120 per minute on a Mark 2 line. So take into that into, all, into consideration that that is equaling less than 780 items per minute. So you're not going to have any backup with your machines. However, if you look at this side, we can see there is some stuttering going on the lines. It's because that sushi line is being overfed. We've got two Mark IV lines and a Mark II line coming in. So that is way over what we need to. Unless you want to do this, go ahead. But this is something me... I cannot do. And that is basically sushi lines. So if you want to check out my satisfactory let's play, click this right here. And also, if you want to check out my recent upload, which is high rise cities, give this one a click right here. And as always, keep smiling.